After the bombing of Libya, the repercussions worldwide. From the Arab world, a threat. More terror, not less, will follow. From Israel, a warning. Gaddafi is only one among many. And from America, a promise. We're ready to back Reagan again. That's terrorism, the elusive enemy. Panorama tomorrow at 9.30. Good evening to you. The question on everybody's lips at the moment is, when are we going to see spring? And the answer, I'm afraid, is certainly not this week, because with this area of low pressure slipping down towards the country, it looks as if it's going to remain fairly cold and unsettled. Now, as far as tonight's concerned, for most northern and eastern parts, I think it will be fine and dry. But before the night's out, there will be more rain getting into Northern Ireland, Wales and those southwestern parts. A fairly chilly night you're going to find it in the north and east, maybe a touch of ground frost in some of the sheltered glens of Scotland. And then tomorrow morning, well, some bright weather to begin with in the northeastern half of the country, but you'll have that rain in the southwest, and during the course of the morning, that's going to spread into the rest of England as well, although somewhat brighter weather beginning to show up in the extreme southwest. And then in the afternoon, it'll brighten up probably in Northern Ireland, Wales, and many southern parts of England, but as it brightens up, it's certainly not going to become dry. There'll be some sunshine, but a fair number of quite heavy showers coming along as well. Also in the afternoon, the rain crossing the border and moving up into central areas of Scotland. It's really the north of Scotland, I think, that will get away with the best of it tomorrow, probably staying mostly dry, fairly bright too, with some sunshine. As for temperatures, pretty meagre again in most parts of the country, 9 to 11 degrees Celsius is only around about the 50 degrees Fahrenheit mark, in fact particularly cold along that eastern coast. On breakfast time this Monday, grand celebrations for Her Majesty the Queen at 60. Happy birthday from the children of Britain and the Grenadier Guards. Cheers from the winners of our loyal toast competition. Artists' impressions of our modern monarch. Local tributes from the royal estates. Congratulations from a loyal Commonwealth. And a happy birthday from breakfast time for Her Majesty the Queen at 60. That's breakfast time this Monday at 10 to 7 until 10. And back to Sunday evening now for the Rock Gospel Show.